Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is my uh, first official video of the uh, winter holiday, Fuyu Yasumi. Fuyu being winter, Yasumi being holiday, Fuyu Yasumi begins. And I'm uh, down at the mart at uh, roughly early morning and I'm having popping the lid on my uh, uh, red bean uh, drink here. These things are great. Uh, very common to uh, enjoy these here in the um, in the winter months. I'll have this at the shrine. I'll do my annual uh, um, uh, coming up uh, New Year's Eve. I'll do my uh, New Year's Eve pilgrimage. I do it every year. Uh, get on my bike or hop on a train. Or I can't do the train because the, train the trains will stop running. Get on my bike and ride around all the uh, visit all the shrines as a New Year's approaches. I've been doing that for a couple of years now, and I'll be doing that, and I'll, they'll be getting giving me this. It's really really good. I should have shaken it up. Mm. You tried Japanese corn soup. We're reminiscent of that in terms of having that kind of a, a vegetable-y goodness. Excuse my sniffling, it's really cold. Anyway, um, I wanted to, came on down, wanted to make my first video of the year, and the first thing I want to talk about, I, I'm sorry to, to go on and on, this is going to be a YouTube-related stuff, if you're not interested in that kind of stuff. But I really, I really think YouTube did something astonishing with their new layout, with their new, with the new changes. Um, and it really is a behind-the-scenes type of a thing. I've made videos before I talked about how the new design looks good. It's nice, it's, it's glossy and, and clean and it puts good images out, but that's not what I, I want to make this video about. I've been experimenting with um, channel utilization and, and playlists and, ex and discovering how YouTube is now um, promoting, at least maybe they were doing some of this before, but I just didn't realize it until now, how they're promoting stuff using playlists and, and discovering how we as content creators and, and you, who we may, may not even be a content creator, maybe just a viewer, you who don't even make content can get in on the game in terms of being involved in, 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 in sharing on YouTube and being, being uh, a part of the uh, content delivery community. That's my, maybe a new word, wait, wait, uh, word we'd have to create, coin and create, or I'm not quite coin anything, but you know, the, the new word to describe things, coin delivery as versus, I mean, co content delivery versus content creation and viewer, maybe three categories there. Okay, the thing is this, the new channel capability coupled with playlists makes it possible to create, and I made a video about this before, but I want to illustrate it with an example now. It get, makes it possible for us to create channels out of thin air and make them appear within 24 hours. You can make a channel appear rich and mature in content and appearance regardless of whether it has anything uploaded to it. Now you could have done that before also with, with, with playlists, but now the new design makes it even more so. Now, and I'm gonna, this is not a, a plug for new channels. I, I don't really like to plug my own stuff, but I can't resist the opportunity to use my own uh, a new channel that I just created as an example because it illustrates the point so well. Okay, for a long time, I I I have thought that I would I, I have a lot of experience with I mean I, I experience trains I don't know anything about trains in Japan but I'm around trains all the time and I'm and I'm always tempted to lift my camera and take a picture of it but I don't know what they need. I can't say anything about trains right I don't know anything about trains so uh, I thought I'm going to create a channel that is just dedicated to sharing my observation of trains it's similar to the YouTube bullet train sharing Japan but just trains okay just just trains now I know that if I did that on the YouTube bullet train you guys would get sick of seeing just trains all the you know one after another like that so I created a new channel called um, and again this isn't a channel plug this is I want I've got a point here I wanted to call, and I called the channel the Japan Trains Vi Japan Train Videos channel. It's over there on the. If you want to see it, it's over there on the main page on all my channels. I have on all my channels now. I have on the main page over on the right. I have a list of all of my active channels, all the channels that I'm actually using, with exception of one. There's the Japan Photo channel, which doesn't have anything on it yet, but it will. So all those channels over there, you can see a link to the Japan Train uh, Videos channel. Now, the, the the slogan for that channel is hot. Uh, HG quality videos and photographs of trains from Japan. That's the whole purpose. Now, I created the channel from scratch one day, well, it's been about a day and a half ago. Had nothing in it. I realized that I could populate that um, channel with literally dozens and dozens of videos, because I already have dozens and dozens of train videos from my various channels, and Get, create playlist and populate it and give it and, and if you go over and take a look at that channel it looks like it's been there for a while it's got lots of playlists it's got lots of videos but only about four videos are actually hosted on the channel only about four uploads but that doesn't matter the uploads are irrelevant 
to the fact that the channel can exist. And, and what it really does is it delivers a, 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 a focused content. Now, and I'm really glad about this, okay? For example, if, if people are interested in seeing trains and they go over to the YouTube bullet train, I just passed the 2400 video mark on that. And they click and they search for train, they're not going to find much because I, I mistakenly used the word train from the YouTube bullet train and all of the, uh, all of the uh, tags for every video and the whole thing. So if you do a search for train, you're going to see everything. So I had to go through manually and filter out all of the train related videos from the YouTube bullet train, likewise with a handful that were over on the Softy Baba channel, and then apply them to playlists over on the Japan Train Videos channel. So you see what the, what the channel does? It gives me a chance to focus content from one source into a, into a, a, a showcase, so to speak. The, cha the Japan Train Videos channel is a showcase for content that I've created that has to do with trains. Now, I'm not limited to that. I can, I can add other people's videos about trains as well. I can, I can, I can create, and I'll get to that. That'll lead into something else in just a moment. But see the point though? You can create a showcase. Now, this reminds me of how we used to do things at the software company I worked at years back. We had about uh, a, a half dozen major products that we created. These were all software products. We had a DNS server, an LDAP server, a, whole, a variety of different email servers. We had a whole bunch of phone, uh, mobile phone applications and the like. And what we did was we took all those products and we re and we, we, we packaged them into different types of a package to fit our customers with telecommunications providers. We had a telco package for each level for the small junior grade uh, telcos, something like that, down in Jamaica, some serving a small country which I, I visited. Or uh, uh, everything up to uh, uh, NTT Docomo, or, or, or uh, um, here in here in Japan, where they could be servicing a huge market like Japan or, or AT and T. We had we see basically the same products rebranded into packages that were consumable by by an appropriate audience. Likewise, uh, if you have a large video base, whether you're your own or just into the videos on YouTube, you can repackage them using channels and playlists for distribution. Now. Why, is thing, why are things different now with the playlist? Well, the play, you had playlists before, we had channels before, you could have done all this before, but YouTube didn't give us the fine-tuning capability with the playlist before. You could only adjust the first six or so videos at the top you, to, to do it. Now the playlists have their own, have, are, are highly malleable. You can add the videos in there and, and, and work them around and give a nice tag to it and you come up with your own URL. You, each playlist is like a little channel on its own in a way. It's really a remarkable thing and give it the appropriate um, uh, label. So there you go. Now, how can people who are not into making content get into the game now? Well, a lot of you who, who have only been viewers can now participate as content delivery agents. Not Maybe you're not a content creator, but you're a content deliverer. Let's say, for example, you are into, oh, I've got my friend uh, um, who's got the manga, the Mad Puppet. Mang, his manga journey channel. I know he's into manga. Why not? He could create, if he has a certain genre of manga or manga in general, he could create a manga, a manga channel and create playlists for the different uh, genre, uh, manga series and populate it with the, with the content he likes from other, from other content creators, from other uploaders and create a very rich experience. People who are interested in manga could then, could then go to his channel and find a, a catalog of content that he didn't create himself that he distributes to others. Now he's not doing it for money, right? Because the, when the people get the views, the views go to, to someone else. Money and hits go somewhere else. But that's a lot of people are in this for love, not money. You could do likewise with anything at all. You could create um, a, a, a genre for uh, animals that you like or, uh, or or travel or whatever the case may be. Whatever your, whatever get tilt your boat, you could, be, you could create a channel for that and become, have basically a site that is a is a focus site, and, and it's, it's it's a good experience. Now the other thing is that with the um, I'm noticing now since I implemented all this, I'm noticing now that uh, that I, you can see when people are are utilizing the playlist. I'm seeing more and more people beginning to use the playlists coming to my videos from playlists. Now what's happening is that's because if there's a switch up at the top, I can't remember what it's called. I, I, I should have remember. I should have had written this down. Written, written this down. There's a switch at the top that allow you to uh, to say toggle this and say, oh, I'm getting at the a ten minute mark. Say toggle this and make this an exclusive playlist. That way, when they're viewing the video, they'll see other vids from the playlist on the side. I'm almost at ten minutes. I gotta quit. I'm gonna say just simply this. 
Check out, um, if you want to see an example of what I'm talking about, check out Japan Train Vids. This isn't a plug. Don't bother subscribing for it. It's just for train buffs. But um, it'll show you how you can create. If you have a lot of content, you can then organize that content into a new package, a new channel, and share it with others. If you don't have any content of your own, you can organize other people's content into a vehicle that will share with others. I'm almost at the mark. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. YouTube, great job. See ya. Bye-bye.